During the long, cold winters in northern Minnesota, Wayne Jewell has lots of time to think. And a few years ago, he started thinking there had to be a better way to pick up rocks. He gathered parts and pieces, started cutting and welding, and this is what he came up with. I built this picker about 25 years ago to meet a need we had. I had purchased several pole-type factory-built pickers, but they were slow and left a lot of tracks in the field when picking ahead of the cedars in the spring. Jewel's three-wheeled rock picker is a real gem. Hydrostatic drive and power steering make it easy to maneuver. You'll notice that this is much more maneuverable than a pole type with a tractor on. You can uh, back up, uh, turn quickly, and also uh, has left less ground disturbance. A 50 horsepower diesel engine gives it plenty of power. The axle comes from a two-ton truck. A 26-inch combine wheel provides the traction, and two car wheels do the steering. This three-point ground contact allows the machine to have a one-piece rigid frame, which follows the ground to keep the picking tines level with the ground. Rocks are lifted from the ground by a picking ramp, then dumped into a steel tank that's bigger than a bathtub. The tines are made, uh, the ones on the ground are made from car axles. We've tried other coal roll steel, but they don't have the strength that the car axles do. Unloading? Well, that's simple too. Just tip the bucket and out they roll. You just drive along the side of the rock pile and it dumps uh, almost without stopping. The picker has several thousand hours in it and has given very good service. It will pick rocks anywhere from three and a half inches up to 500 pounds. Jewel says the picker handles just about any size rock except a leverite. That's the kind so big you have to leverite where you found her. We think you've got a nifty machine there, Wayne.